do, 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 do. We probably should have a jingle for our show. Well, welcome to episode number three of our show, Millionaire Mindset. In today's show, we are going to talk about the one mistake that's holding you back. The one mistake that's holding you back from accumulating massive wealth. And you don't want to miss this. But first of all, let's talk about the markets. Let's see what happened today in the markets. Well, this morning, we actually finished strong because Asian markets were up like crazy. They started the new year with a bang. In Asia, the Hang Seng was up 3%, and so the other markets followed. Let's jump over to the computer here. And here right now, you see the S&P, and you see the S&P started strong and then fizzled out throughout the day, but and it's still up. So the S&P up 0.83%. The Dow Jones, well, also here we started strong, but then, as you can see, went all the way down. So Dow Jones was hanging in there, still up 0.42%. But you see, the big mover today was the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ up 1.5%, started with a bang and never looked back. One of the reasons why the NASDAQ was so strong is because of Netflix. So today there were news around Netflix, so they reported great earnings uh, or a great outlook. This is what it was, and you see Netflix up 4.75%, and that's definitely something that brought up the whole Nasdaq. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin here also today had a good day after uh, we had some reports saying that early Facebook investor Peter Thiel Actually, this report says is buying massive amounts. That is not true. He already bought a few million. So, uh, but this was almost a year ago. But today it leaked that he owns a lot of Bitcoin. And this is where Bitcoin had a jump here in the afternoon, but then fizzling out. Uh, just looking back over the last three months, as you can see, we had this dip where we went all the way from 19,000 to 12 and a half thousand, going back up to uh, around 15,000 here right now. That's where we stand with Bitcoin. What else going on in the markets? Crude oil rather flat, natural gas up 3% because of the cold snap that we have in the Northeast. And also for us, we started the year really well in binary options. You know that we like to trade binary options. We had two trades and both trades were winning trades. All right, so much for the markets. So let me switch back to the camera. And let's talk about uh, the number one mistake that is holding you back. I want to show you uh, a screenshot that I took on Facebook here the other day. Let me do this. Uh, let's go back here to the computer. And uh, I'm going to share my screen here. So as you can see right now, I'm just having a few videos on Facebook. Here's one of the videos where I say, where's the money coming from? And uh, it, it's a pretty cool video that talks about you must have multiple sources of income. Never have only one source of income because what are you going to do if this source of income disappears? Anyhow, so I talk about multiple sources of income. As you can see, almost 15,000 people, more than 14,000 have uh, watched this video. A bunch of people liked it. And then there is Carol. Can you see it here at the bottom? I'm going to read it to you. So Carol uh, leaves a comment and says, no one's asked any questions yet. If this formula works so well, why are you so willing to share? And that's what we're going to talk about today. This is what we call abundance mindset. Let me switch back to the camera here that I can talk to you directly. Think about it this way. Think about the billionaires in the world. Uh, there's, for example, Elon Musk, right? I mean, the, the Tesla guy. He gave away all his patents. Why? Well, so that others can build electrical cars too. Richard Branson, of course you're familiar with Richard Branson, right? He gave away half of his fortune. Warren Buffett gave away 80%, 85%, sorry, of his fortune. And Bill Gates gave away $60 billion. Why do these people do it? Well, again, this is what we call an abundance mindset. An abundance mindset means that when you give freely, you get even more back. Now, this is in contrast to the scarcity mindset. The scarcity mindset is, okay, it's all mine. And if I discovered something, if I discovered a secret, I have to give it to myself. See, let's talk about trading. Why wouldn't I share my trading strategy with everybody? It absolutely makes sense. 
Let's say I'm sharing with 10,000 people that we want to buy a stock at a hundred dollars. What's going to share if 10,000 people want to buy a stock at a hundred dollars? The price go up, obviously, right? So then if we say, okay, at $120, we want to sell and we all sell at this price. Who's getting hurt? The 10,000 people that are following me and doing it? No, of course not. This is what is what I call the abundance mindset. When sharing it, more people are getting the wealth. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to challenge you to do something, to experience it for yourself. You have $20 right now in your pocket. Sure, you have $20, right? I want you to experience an abundance mindset with only $20. There's two things that you can do with these $20. When you go to the grocery store the next time, for these $20, buy flowers, roses. Uh, you see at my grocery store, you get probably a dozen and a half roses, 18 roses. You buy them and then you hand them out to people at the grocery store. And all you do, you give them a rose and say, have a great day. What do you think will happen? You make somebody's day. Of course, there will be people like, like Carol here, right? Who says, why are you doing it? What, what, what do you want from me? Nothing. You're not expecting anything in return. Not even a thank you. Just do it and you'll see how amazing it feels. If you don't like the idea of walking around a grocery store with flowers or roses and handing them out to strangers, do the following. Next time you go to Starbucks, just buy coffee for the next three or four people in line. You always, you know that you're never alone in a Starbucks, right? When you walk in a Starbucks or your favorite coffee shop, whatever it might be, you probably have other people standing in line. Just ask the next three people, hey, what, what do you want? Don't, don't go overboard and buying them all the, the food and beverage. Just buy them coffee. It'll only cost you 20 bucks, but you know, try it and you will experience the abundance mindset and you will, you will feel much, much richer, even though you just gave $20 away. And you know what? I don't want to go, to, go to woo woo on you with law of attraction and all this, but believe me on that day, when you do that, when you do something with $20, that's all I'm asking. Buy somebody coffee, give away some flowers on that day you will experience that something great will happen to you. Maybe it is unexpectedly you're getting money. You're getting a check in the mail. Maybe it is that somebody is calling you. Maybe somebody is doing a favor for you. Maybe you're getting an email that you have been waiting for. You'll be amazed what happens when you have an abundance mindset. And so, Carol, to you, why am I willing to share? Because that's what I experience personally in my life. The more I give, the more comes back to me. Same with the show. I'm here to provide value, to give you a millionaire mindset. And this is what the show is all about. I'm sharing with you what I personally do. And I hope that helps you. All right. That's the tip for today's show and a quick look at the markets here. So um, just think about it. Do it. And if right now only 10 people would do this. Do you think the world would be a better place if a hundred people would do it? A thousand people? You get the idea. Have a great day and I'll see you the next time. Till then, take care.